wise, kind and gentle, words said about Caleb Otto. That there are three basic components of the human being, the body, the mind, and the soul. The well-being of human being is optimum only when all of these component parts are healthy. That heart and soul certainly defines Ambassador Caleb Otto, along with integrity, hard work, kindness, yet humility, admired by all. The role of the heart in our daily interactions is prominent, as indicated by the number of words expressing well-being that contain the word reng, which is the Palawan word for heart. Born in Palau, beloved husband and father and family man, playing sports, writing plays, and directing the church choir, he became a public health physician, serving his country as an anti-tobacco activist, representative at WHO's World Health Assembly, senator promoting universal health coverage, and then ambassador at the United Nations, where he championed so many issues in the 2030 agenda, human rights, women and children's rights, breastfeeding, NCDs, sports, peace and justice, disabilities, the oceans, climate change, and mental health and well-being. I want to thank him very much for all that he has done for us here at the United Nations by introducing psychology um, into the UN as also advocating very strongly for mental health and well-being. So I'm going to introduce to you Ambassador Dr. Caleb Otto. Thank you very much to the psychology for inviting us again for this very nice annual session. Ambassador Otto sponsored many psychology days at the United Nations, an annual event presented by psychology NGOs accredited by the Economic and Social Council and or affiliated with the UN Department of Global Communications. The day highlights the contributions of psychology, science, and practice to global issues like women's equality, violence, disaster, climate change, and migration. As a, a person from small island developing states, we haven't even discussed the migration crisis that's going to affect us when our islands go under the sea and we become climate change refugees. For climate refugees and all disaster survivors, psychosocial resilience, attending to people's emotional needs, is crucial and distinct from structural resilience, a point we emphasized at the UN World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction. We advocated very hard to ensure that even psychological, psychosocial resilience be included in the Sendai framework. Thanks to his tireless efforts in a historic move during the intergovernmental negotiations for the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, five words, promote mental health and well-being, were included in Target 3.4 and well-being in the title of Goal 3. That campaign that involved statements and meetings with so many UN missions was a partnership of Ambassador Otto with the Psychology Coalition of NGOs accredited at the UN called Peace UN, led by then President Judy Koriansky from the International Association of Applied Psychology, with interns led by Joel Zinsu, called Team Palau, supported by other PCUN members like Rashmi Jaipal from the American Psychological Association and Korana Korodudu from the Society for the Scientific Study of Social Issues. Ambassador Otto was so well known during those sessions for his saying, I wish you all continued mental health and well-being. It was um, an exciting time. We work very hard. We work late into the night. Otto and Kuriansky also co-founded the Group of Friends of Mental Health and Well-Being with many government members, continuing to this day led by Canada, Belgium, and Bahrain. I want to thank all the members who were uh, parts of the, the group of uh, Friends of Mental Health. Supporting mental health has personal meaning for Ambassador Otto. In my own family, I have lost three cousins Two from my mother's uh, sister's family and one from my mother's uh, brother's family. So they're very close to me and they all had schizophrenia. But the silver lining in this um, situation in Palau is, is that we have learned because of this uh, disease to deal with the stigma and the discrimination against mental illness. Happy people, happy planet, happy people, happy planet. 
His love for people and the planet is evident, like at this event celebrating the International Day of Happiness at the UN, co-organized by Dr. Judy Otto, Ambassador Otto's wife. And co-sponsoring many other events, continuing Ambassador Otto's theme of mental health and well-being at the heart of the Sustainable Development Goals. And this event during the Commission for Social Development interlinking poverty and mental health. And this one at the UN Science, Technology and Innovation Forum about artificial intelligence and mental health. I'm so sorry you are feeling that way. You can talk to Siri and everything, but you cannot hug Siri, right? His devotion to youth was paramount. We should inspire the young people's imagination. We should facilitate their creativity, such as Jelena's creativity for creating a new program in school. We should harness their energy to work. And we should create, this is a very important one that I learned just last week when we were talking about security and peace. We should create more hope spots for young people. Hope that will, like Carlos, help them to achieve their dreams. Thank you very much, everyone. For all his love and devotion, love and respect for Ambassador Otto was evident at his memorial in November 2018. <laughs> Ambassador Otto, who gave so much to the world, to your country, and to everyone, in honor of him, our song. With his heart he gave the world a legacy of love, a gift for every woman, man, and child. Always from Balao, this gentleman, your native son, every day in every way, he was in love.